How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I take counsel in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all the day? It may be hard to believe that those words came from one of the most faithful servants of the Lord, David. He was even called a man after God's heart. But just like us, despite his great faith, he also experienced a time where he felt God was silent and has already forgotten him. Like David, do you feel like God has abandoned you and that he just feels so far away? Have you asked questions like, How long will we endure this pandemic? How long will I battle this sickness? Bakit ako, Lord? Nasaan ka ba, Panginoon? Kinalimutan mo na ba kami? As we live in a world filled with brokenness, God is inviting us to lament. To lament is not to simply cry, but to turn to God and bring our pain, frustrations, and even anger to the one who sees hears, and treasures our tears. To lament is not to simply complain about our situation, but an invitation to move from asking to trusting God's heart for us. It is not to deny the reality of what we are going through, but to dare to hope in God's sovereignty and goodness despite it all. Lamenting does not make us any less of a person after God's own heart like David and definitely not a sign of weak faith. Even Jesus, our Lord and Savior, lamented. In fact, it takes faith to bring to God our hurts, pain, and broken hearts, instead of just dealing with them on our own. As David ended his psalm, it says in Psalm chapter 13, verse 5 and 6, But I have trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because He has dealt bountifully with me. In the season of so much loss, I pray that we will learn to lament like David and to choose to trust, rejoice, and worship because we know that God is good and faithful. Even at the end of our ropes, when we cannot simply hold on, let our greatest comfort be that God is with us and is always for us. Have a great day.